I swear to God, we have built one of the weirdest, weirdest looking trailers with the box off it. He's like some stubby boy that gets towed around by a bloody lawnmower or something. <laughs> Alright, we are back working on this dog of an army trailer. In the last episode, if you missed it, we have actually completed the seam ceiling right around the whole trailer. We've also pretty much completed the welding. So I've welded these plates in, welded the front section to the actual body. We have fully completed the welding up the front as well as fully sealing the inside of the box. So we are basically ready for the aluminium top, which I actually have sitting just there. Now that top is a very crucial part of this build because it is gonna allow us to make our tub rack out of steel. We decided to make that out of steel because it would be stronger. And then we can sit our rooftop tent on top of that. Now I can't make the tub rack until I have the tent because I don't know the dimensions. I can't find them online. So I'm gonna have to wait to make that. But before I put this top on, I do want to paint the inside of the tub because it's going to be very hard to paint it with that sitting on top of it. So there's definitely a couple of things that I need to get done before that tub goes on. One of those things is actually mounting the front of the body back to the chassis itself because we've cut the front half of the trailer and it's actually taken the chassis mounts with it. I really want to smash this trailer out as soon as possible so I'm going to get stuck into it. Being in the freaking cam, I really want to get out and camp. Let's get the box off and I'll have a look at how I'm going to start mounting the body to the frame again. So as you can see here, this is where the old body mount used to be. Now obviously we've cut the front section off. What I'll probably do is just weld a bit of angle to there and put one bolt through the top. Pretty sure it's only going to need one bolt there and one bolt there. It can't move sideways because my frame is actually hard up against it there. So two bolts and I reckon we'll be done. Right, oh, as you can see, simple little body mount done. We've got a 10 mil bolt in each side. But yeah, first job done, guys. I also did take that big ass yellow thing off, whatever that bloody thing was. So moving on, I'm gonna be painting the inside of this tub. So I need to get in there with a wire wheel and clean out all that flaky stuff. Then we need to get in there with the sander. We need to sand it all down. I'm not too worried about getting it nice and flat and getting a really nice texture in here because you're not really gonna see any of this at all. It's just more a rust preventative. So actually if I sand down more, it's less paint that will be on the steel. That kind of makes sense. More paint, more protection. There we go. And a pro tip is to do your welding before you do your seam sealing because Sigaflex catches on fire and it stays on fire. So <laughs> that is that is lesson learnt on that one. So I've wire wheeled all the flaky paint off and I wire wheeled quite a fair bit in here. And then I actually chiseled out because there was quite a fair bit of rust. So I chiseled out underneath there. That stuff you just see me painting on is a rust converter, primer and sealer all in one. Got that on the problem areas. So right up along the mud guards, down the mud guard and all in the corners there. We shouldn't see any rust anytime soon in those areas. So all of this, I'm going to be using an orbital sander and I'm definitely not going to be pushing too hard on it 
and trying to go down to bare metal. All I'm trying to do is just scuff the surface and get rid of the dirt on the surface. So I get back to some clean stuff that paint will actually stick to. All right, so I've quickly flipped the trailer around and I think it's a good time to actually mount these plates. I know I said I was about to start sanding, but what I'm gonna do is actually use the orbital sander to sand the bottom of this plate, just where it's gonna seal and then just lightly sand the top of the box section and then we're gonna sicker flex that down. It won't need too much, as probably most of you know, my whole tray floor on my ute is held down by sicker flex and it has not moved. So I'm gonna quickly get to doing that and I might also just run some sicker flex over the front of the guards and the rear of the guards as well. So I'll quickly do that now and then we can start sanding the tub. All right, that friggin' sucked, but the sanding is now done. I didn't go too crazy. You can see someone's actually hand painted this. So that's why there's those strokes there. And to sand it flat, I'm just not interested in doing that. And thank God we're ready for paint because sanding absolutely sucks. Painting is the fun part. Now over here on my very expensive mix-up table that we've got here, we are gonna mix some paint. We've got the motor spray, subframe black, which is semi-gloss. It's apparently pretty tough stuff, so I'm happy about that. We just got some all-purpose thinners and a mixing cup because we are gonna thin this about 10%, just so it goes through the gun a little bit better. This is the Renegade gun that I bought. It literally was about 50 bucks, so not expecting many great things from it, but for 50 bucks, thought I may as well try it, give it a crack, and it'll probably be good for spraying Raptor, stuff that you don't really wanna spray through an expensive gun. Now, if you guys are ever gonna paint something like a trailer or a car at any stage, the prep work is the key. You probably hear that all the time on other videos as well. But as much as it sucks, definitely don't skip the prep work because if the prep's not there, your paint's not gonna stick. You're gonna end up doing it twice and it's gonna cost you twice as much anyway. So sand everything good, wax and grease remove, wax and grease remove again, blow everything down, and then you can paint and your paint's actually gonna stick so you'll get a good job. So I do also have the air compressor set up. Now it's very important to have a regulator with a moisture trap and also a pressure gauge. Now you can see mine's set on 40 at the moment. I normally spray in between 40 and 50, I think. It's a little bit of personal preference, but that's just sort of what I've learned. So let's get to some painting, guys. I'm gonna mix this up. Always shaky can of paint as well. I've actually had it where in two pack cans, there's like a film of the two pack left down the bottom. This stuff's very simple stuff. It's just literally acrylic paint or something like that. I probably should have got a two pack, let's be real, but I didn't uh, actually plan on painting this today. I had no plans today, so we ended up doing this. So I got the paint loaded up in the new gun. It's very thin. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. It's probably really crap paint. But anyway, we're here. Now what I'm gonna do is do a very thin coat. Now that's what's called a tack coat. It's called a tack coat because it becomes tacky and it's like glue. So if you were to basically try and lay down heaps of paint straight away, that's when you'll get runs and it sucks. So it's very important to just do a tack coat. It's now time to paint.
we are looking pretty bloody mint actually. That paint is not bad on the eyeball. It's very awkward to get into areas on this trailer and I was trying to paint in an even way but it was so hard to do. I got about three quarters of the way in two coats and the rest is just one coat. So I probably will get another couple of cans of that stuff and I'll do another coat in here while it's like this which will be probably tomorrow night now. But all in all, that paint come up pretty good. And like I said, you're not even gonna see most of this. I could even get in probably with a stone guard and do a stone guard on top of this. And it would actually hold pretty well, but I might just keep it the subframe black. So I honestly don't know if there's much point in keeping this video going. I will be smashing this with a double coat tomorrow. If I can get another can, it is very hard to get paint at the moment. But if I can get another can, I'll come in, I'll spray it again. And then it'll be at a point where I'm happy to actually put the top on. Sorry for a short video, but we are finished for the night. Drop a comment saying that the trailer is a rig if you've made it this far. I love knowing that you guys are watching this content all the way to the end. It's friggin' awesome. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode. See you later.